Hi Taurus, the Empress here. Glad to be back with you guys. Let's see what we got coming for the month of October, all right? If you're new to my channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button. Don't forget to like and share the video. A lot of people have been saying they haven't been getting the notifications. I don't know what's going on with YouTube, but let's just make sure that we keep in, you know, the lights up to keep everything in flow, okay? All right, so let's talk about October. What does October have for my Taurus? Give me a message for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, okay? So if you have Taurus anywhere in those placements, you can utilize this video, okay? This is going to be a general read. It may or may not resonate with you, okay? So just take what applies and leave the rest, okay? Taurus. Taurus, what message is there for Taurus? Okay. I got the Seven of Cups, the Page of Cups, the Ten of Pentacles, the Seven of Wands. The Five of Pentacles. Okay. Uh, Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles. Lots of Pentacles here. Y'all got money on y'all mom. For sure, for sure. I'm seeing multiple streams of income. <clears throat> the Hierophant, which is you guys' energy. Um, eight of Wands. And, okay. And the Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. That just jumped out. <laughs> All right. So, we got the Two of Swords at the bottom of the deck. So, there may be a decision that you need to make or you're at a crossroad. Like, you're not sure about something. We got the Sun card here. You could be dealing with the Leo. The Eight of Cups. Maybe you're not sure how somebody, how you not sure how to, um, somebody's doing something, or you're undecided on whether or not you want to walk away from a situation. But let's see. I'm getting the Libra, Gemini, Aquarius here, as well too. All right, so let's talk Seven of Cups. I do feel like you're a little confused. Um, either you're confused or either you're confused a little bit. You feel like you need to make a decision. But you have a lot of things going on in front of you right now. Like, why is the Seven of Cups here? Yeah, the Nine of Swords. Yeah, okay. So, for some of you, y'all are focused on work. And career okay we got the three of um pentacles lots of pentacles here like so your focus is definitely like on work and career you know finding different streams of income um doing partnerships working on a business but i'm definitely getting like partnering up possibly like with three people i feel like you're waiting for something okay <clears throat> Yeah, I'm getting like, don't say nothing. The Four of Cups and the Hermit. This is like being really, really silent, moving silence. Okay, I'm getting that. But I feel like you're kind of like, you know, worried a little bit here. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Yeah, see, your guard is up. You're really guarded here. Um, you may be doing a lot. Um, you know, you got all of your cups filled here. But I feel like y'all are nervous about something. Like y'all are a little on edge about something. Why is the Ten of Pentacles here? Yeah, the Two of Cups, okay? So this could be a, in regards to a relationship. This could be a business relationship. This could just be a source of, like, I'm getting like a business partner. You're waiting on something. Some of you guys are waiting for some type of uh, possibly like unemployment or waiting for some type of something that involves like money. I'm just feeling that. 
Okay, yeah, you're waiting for a decision to be made. For a lot of y'all, this has definitely has to do like with money. Yeah. Let's see, we got the Six of Pentacles. I feel like you're getting some type of settlement or something in that nature. You may feel like somebody's giving you the runaround. Why is the Two of Cups here? Queen of Pentacles, yeah. This is you guys' energy, but we got the Queen of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles here. Like, I really feel like you guys are, you know, a little on edge, possibly about some money, okay? We got the Seven of Swords and the Page of Pentacles, um, Queen of Cups, the Emperor, okay? So, there could be a water sign involved, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an Aries, um... You may feel like someone is is you know telling not telling the truth about a situation, but this is your chance to make it out of something. Um, we got the Wheel of Fortune, the Magician, and the Eight of Swords. So you may feel a little trapped or bound or tied to a situation. I got the King of Cups here, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but you're slowly trying to move out of it. Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, see, you're slowly coming out of a situation here because I got your past energy as the five of pentacles okay so you may have hit a little rough rough patch in the past and you feel like this is going to be your way out see I see you taking action here with this king of wands but you're keeping some information to yourself because <clears throat> you feel like people love to go run run your business down but I got you as the nine of pentacles here. So something, y'all got something up your sleeve. Why is the five of pentacles here? The knight of cups. Yeah. See, you, you might have knew somebody was going to ask for something. But you might have told somebody, like, I ain't got it right now. You know, a lot of people look to Taurus for support and look to Taurus for things of like, you know, finance, financial advice and things of career and things of that nature because everybody knows that Taurus is about their money, they're about their goals, you know, they're, you know, are stern with the money, they can save money. Like, even though Taurus can, you know, Taurus can come off as, you know, kind of like materialistic a little bit. Um, it's very much earned. Like, it's something that you've earned. You put the hard work in. You guys are the bulls. <laughs> but I feel like you knew, your intuition was telling you that somebody was going to ask for something. But you're saying, like, look, I ain't got it right now. I'm trying to get myself together. <clears throat> I'm trying to get, I'm working on something right now. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Or there was an offer made in the past and you felt like it wasn't enough. Why is the Knight of Cups here? Okay. Yeah, somebody's trying to guilt trip you. The Five of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Trying to somebody's trying to make you feel bad for them. Why is the Seven of Wands here? Yeah, you're tired. You're pretty tired here. Four of Swords. <clears throat> If my voice is cracking, I'm sorry, guys. It's, like, really late. But I've been doing my readings pretty late during the nighttime. I just feel, you know, full moon energy out tonight. Why not do this reading tonight? So if my voice is a little cracky, bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah, see, you're tired of working. Like, you're tired of this. Like, you have been busting your butt seven of wands and you're tired you're tired for some of you you want to retire you want to you know you're ready to sit down you're ready to take a break they may have offered you something in the past or you know a conversation came up but i feel like you may have rejected an offer in the past why is the page of cups here yeah see the six of swords you're ready to move on or you're ready to move. Yeah, you're making a final decision. The Empress, 
which is you guys' energy, but as well as Libra's energy too. Like some of you are, um, this could be a divorce here. I'm getting a wife wants a divorce here. The Empress, Ten of Swords, and the Four of Wands, someone's final decision, a, a judge, a judgment. For some of you, this is alimony or something in that nature. Um, with the Emperor here, this could be a judge giving off, you know, the final judgment. Um, for some of you, it's work-related. For some of you, there's a settlement here or somebody's trying to, you know, I'm getting like you're tired of the back and forth, tired of the hustle and bustle. Why is the Six of Swords here? You're ready to move on. You're trying to move on. The Ace of Swords and the King of Wands. King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck. You're ready to move on. Like you're seeing things for what they really are now. And quite frankly, you're not really interested in like, you know, I feel like you want something different now. Five of Swords energy is your, your future energy. Ooh, you may feel like somebody thinks that they're slick, but you got their number. <laughs> Temperance and the Moon. Wow. Mm -hmm. Why's the King of Swords here? Or you're really trying to think smart. Ten of Swords, you may feel like somebody's trying to be tricky and stab you in the back. Um, a decision is getting ready to be made or you're still waiting. I feel like you're still waiting for somebody to make a decision. You feel like somebody's trying to be slick on something. I feel like you just feel like somebody is like trying to get over on you um, because they're waiting so long to come up with a decision on, a, on, on some money. See, with the King of Pentacles, for a lot of you, like I said, this could be unemployment. Like you're just waiting something out. Ace of Pentacles is how you feel. So you're looking at this as a golden opportunity, and this is about money talking, okay? Ace of Pentacles and the Page of Wands. See, like I said, this is your chance to make something happen here. You're, you're trying to manifest something here with this money. And I feel like <laughs> with this full moon, like, some of you are getting ready to get a release, okay? So if you've been waiting on some money to be released to you, I feel like... This could be the time, okay? Why is the page of wands here? The devil. Yeah, somebody's like talking uh, negative or coming off as negative. The emperor. Some of you dealing with the boss. That's the emperor. King of Pentacles again. Yeah, see, hangman and the hangman and the king of Pentacles. You're waiting. You're waiting on some money to drop. You're waiting on some money to be released. You're waiting on something that's a financial, that's beneficial to you. Because you already made plans. You already made plans on what you're going to do with it when, it when you get it, okay? <laughs> You already made plans. Why is the heart for him? Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Two of Pentacles again. So others are viewing you as being very impulsive. Um, like, <laughs> kind of like on edge, like... You know, feel like, well, hurry up and make this decision. You know, they. I feel like people feel like you're trying to hide it, but it's like written all over your face. <laughs> Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay, Eight of Swords. Her, um, the Four of Wands. So maybe you are telling someone like, you know, hey, I've been having to be stuck in this house during this quarantine. Um, I'm getting like somebody's taking pictures as well. Like, why is the page of swords here? Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Queen of Swords and the Eight of Cups. I feel like 
if some of y'all have been like stuck in the house and you're ready to get out. Like you're ready to get out and do something new. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? <laughs> For some of you, I feel like this is definitely like with the unemployment because I'm getting like not even putting forth any effort, not wanting to have to work as hard. I'm getting like some of y'all are overworked and underpaid. You know, uh, if you have this opportunity, they're giving this opportunity for you to kind of like chill out and sit back a little bit. I feel like some of y'all are, you know, at the point where you're like, you know what? I'm ready to take a break. Some of y'all are planning, wanting to plan a trip. Like, you feel like, you know, this is my time to chill. Why is the four of cups here? Yeah. See, I got the king of cups and the nine of pentacles. Some of y'all are dealing with the Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, but with that nine of pentacles here... I do feel like you guys are getting ready to be financially blessed. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Queen of Cups, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh huh. And I'm getting emotionally secure, financially secure. You're trying to manifest something here. Some of you are manifesting a, a business here or some type of partnership or some type of paperwork is going to be done, okay? Like, I feel like something is coming to, like something is being completed. Um, it may take a little time or it has taken a little time, but I do feel like things are getting ready to progress. Like if some of y'all are waiting on some type of settlement or waiting for um, some type of assistance is on the way, okay? Is on the way. Let's see what um, advice we have. Let me just drink a few drops of this water. Okay. Oh, that's better. All right. Let's see what advice do we have for my Taurus. Okay, we got the initiation. Like you're starting something new. We got answer their call. Yeah, see, some of y'all are getting ready to walk into your calling. Okay, some of y'all are getting ready to do something that you've never done before. Like something that you've been wanting to do, but you just haven't had the time to do it. Now, I feel like some of y'all are like, you know what? I'm going to take this time and use it to do something for me. Give me one more card for Taurus. Here's y'all stubborn energy. <laughs> okay, Taurus. There we go. All right, we got no, pause, wait, align your life. Okay, so if you don't, ha if you guys aren't aligned, if you aren't getting rid of the things that you need to get rid of, aligning yourself, a lot of things are going to take longer to manifest because in order for you to get to get the things that you want, you have to align yourself. You have to be on that frequency to receive. Um, you know, if you're trying to manifest things, I'm going to pull a few clarifiers because I want to see the initiation. What is the initiation here? Eight of Cups. See, I'm telling you, some of y'all are getting ready to walk away from something. Um, yeah. See, you're going to have to walk away from something before things can progress. Like, you're going to have to leave something. Okay, for some of you, this is the Justice card. Okay, this is Libra's energy. Um, I feel like you're in a situation that's not fair, that's not balanced, um, that isn't beneficial. 
If it's not beneficial for you, walk away from it. And you will see how much your life progresses after you walk away from a situation that is no longer serving you. Yeah, see, you're stuck in something. You're stuck in something. It could be a men mental thing. Like you're just mentally stuck or you feel trapped. You feel like there's no way out of the situation. Um, but you have to take the first step, okay? You have to take the first step. See, we got the Ace of Cups. Uh huh. You got to do something new, okay? Something that is fulfilling to you, okay? Something that you're passionate about. King of Wands here. Answer the call. Okay, what is your calling? I think for a lot of you guys, this is about a calling, okay? I'm getting a conversation here. Some of you are talking to God, are praying, meditating. Like, what is my passion? Look at this. <laughs> the Emperor, the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands, the Ace of Wands. Yeah, like, what is my passion? What am I good at? What could I be doing at this time? What can I do to take things to the next level? Why is the Ace of Wands here? The Strength card, yes. Do you have the courage to do that? Okay, the Two of Wands and the Hermit. You, Some of you have been doing some research anyway. Like, you're doing your own research. You may not be talking too much about it, but you're doing your own research. Okay? And why do we have no here? Ten of Pentacles, King of Pentacles. Six of Cups. I'm seeing, I'm hearing, don't go back. Okay. Don't go back. If this situation is no longer aligned with you, um, don't go back. Okay. Ten of swords. See, see, that's what I'm telling you. There, there's something that is possibly getting ready to end or needs to end, um, for you to move forward. Yeah. See, Why is the Hermit card here? The Nine of Wands. Four of Wands. And the Page of Swords. Like, I'm getting like a spy. Somebody spying on somebody's home or job or business here. Page of Swords and the Four of Wands. This could be family spying. I'm getting like listening. Listen to your... Why is the Nine of Wands here? Why is the Nine of Wands here? Okay. Your thoughts. King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Maybe you feel like if you would have listened to something earlier, sooner, you would have possibly been a little bit further. I got temperance here, Sagittarius' energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Why is the King of Swords here? Nine of Swords. See, look at this. Like, your thoughts, like I said, I feel like you're kind of at a point where you're kind of like disappointed with the Queen of Wands here, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But I feel like some of you feel like, you know, kind of disappointed, um... I don't know if it's within yourself or someone else, but something is constantly on your mind um, with the Seven of Cups and the Nine of Swords. It's kind of like you are I'm just getting like you're very anxious. Like you're hearing something or you're seeing something. Um, are you confused by it? Why is the Nine of Swords here? Seven of Swords and the Hierophant. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Five of Wands. We got the Moon here. Three of Cups. Oh, okay, so there's secrets here. There's secrets here. There's possibly comp com competition. Um...
Four of Wands. Okay. But I'm also getting that there's possibly a lot of confusion going on where you want things to come together. This could possibly be family um, with the Three of Cups and the Four of Wands coming together or friends and family coming together. There may be a little, you know, um, insecurities or disagreements with the Five of Wands. Um, but I'm getting like you feel a little confused by this. Like you need to think something through. Um, what's the seven of swords here? Yeah, somebody try. You feel like somebody's trying to be sneaky. Queen of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Yeah, Ten of Wands, like you doing all the work. And they getting the credit for it. We got the empress. This could be like a mother, sister, aunt. Something to that nature. Why the ten of wands here? The nine of pentacles. Like I said. It's like somebody's trying to. You're upset because somebody's trying to take something from you. Or to, uh, you do all the work and they get the credit. Um, and this could have caused a, a little bit of a disagreement with the five of wands here. But at the same time, I feel like for some of you, this could be family oriented or this is like a marriage. But I feel like it's just, oh, it's so mind boggling. It's mind boggling. It got, it really got your head all over the place. Because I feel, do feel like you love this person. We got the lovers here. We got the lovers here. So that's Gemini's energy. But that's, you know, genuine love. Okay. But that just gave you the chance to make your decision, okay? That just gave you a chance to make a decision here. And that's for some of you, not all of you. Yeah, somebody tried to leave you out of the equation. Like, somebody counted you out. Yeah. Some of you may be planning to come back, okay? Some of y'all are planning some type of comeback. But I do feel like, overall... Um, you have to walk away from a situation in order to align yourself. If that situation is going to be what's best for you, then do it. All right. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. And I will chat with y'all later. Ciao.